Hello from the road, Richie Castellano here. We're on tour with John Anderson and the Band Geeks. This is the first time I've been on tour with the Geeks. It's pretty cool. And I've been noticing that some of us have some different pre-show rituals, warm-ups or whatever we do to get ready. So I documented them and I figured it would be fun to show them in this video. So check out what we do before a show. It starts at sound check and I'll listen to what we're doing and we'll discuss Okay, what did we do yesterday, or the last show, that can use a little tightening up? It's just for the duet, right? Yeah. yeah. And, but the, but the bulk of the pipe organ is still stereo, right? Yes. Okay. Only at the end to separate you guys, because okay. it's... it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Can we run it down again? Yeah, let's run it, um, let's run it down again. Same spot. I that. Oh. sing a little bit. And I didn't used to do this. This is something kind of recent for me. I just found a guy on YouTube, his name is Jeff Rolka, and he does this whole series of vocal warm-ups. And I, I like the tenor one, even though I'm not technically a tenor, I kind of cheat at being a tenor. I'm more of a baritone who will hurt himself to try to get tenor, but he doesn't go that high. I think the highest note he'll go up to is an A, which is sort of comfortable for me. And I do sing an A in chess voice for Owner of the Lonely Heart. So I want to be ready for that. And that's probably the highest note I'll sing in chess voice the rest for the, for the rest of the night. There, anything higher than that, I'll sing in falsetto. So here's what it's like. And I'll just sit here. I'll find somewhere quiet. We, 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 we. And it's ridiculous. We, 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 we. It's not very interesting to watch, but this is what this is what I do before a show, and I right now we're actually behind the stage. Uh, I do it. I find a place if I can where I'm not bothering anyone. This is Andy Graziano. I noticed that everybody in the band has like a different pre-show ritual. I noticed that you do some classical guitar before that. So can you tell me about that? Yeah, sure. I just play my little Godin guitar here, and I like to. Just do a little straight up classical. I have my pick just in case there's anything I want to specifically go over in the show. But what I like to do is I'll, I'll start with some etudes. I like my Brower etudes. That's nice. Yeah, Do you play any other pieces or like? Uh, I know there's a few, there's a few hits I, oh, I usually recognize. The greatest hits like yeah. here's the beginning of a few of them. How about something like? Yeah. And I get to raise my people's eyebrow for that. Yeah. <laughs> when did you start doing this stuff? Uh, I started doing this in college, really. I it was so in a in a weird turn of events. I auditioned for, for college with Mood for a Day, you know, and like ended up getting a little bit of a scholarship due to that. Who'd you study with? Uh, with Ed Brown at Wagner College, an awesome teacher and super awesome person. And then, uh, so I did that there, I studied classical, that's during the time of the progeny 1999, so you could hear a little bit of that on there, my little sort of uh, weirdo composition raga is on that, that was during that time where I was just finally learning how to play this thing. Uh, oh, so that's, that's where you started doing it? Yeah, and, right around that time. And you studied with anybody else? Yeah, and then I went to Brooklyn College and I studied with a guy named Lars Franzen from uh, Denmark. He was from Denmark originally, but he's here. He's an amazing classical player. He's he's the guy that kind of took me to that 
to the next level for that, and I did my master's degree there, so that was pretty awesome. So you have a master's in classical guitar? Yeah. And do you have a master's in education too? In music education. Music yeah. education. So after I did that, I was like, hmm, now what do I do? I'm gonna teach also. <laughs> so I went back to school for that. Nice. Yeah. So you have two masters. And so you studied with Ed, you studied with... With Ed, with Lars, I did a little couple of sessions with Benjamin Verdery. Oh yeah. Who's an awesome composer and guitar player. Are you doing any finger picking in the show? Uh, I am, at least in one spot. There's the, in the Starship Trooper, when we do the little uh, country break. Oh. But you would, but that's not classical picking. No, I'm doing more of I'm, I'm doing a little mute on the bass, so it's kind of like a Travis picking mm -hmm. thing. But I'm not using my pick. What about ritual open doors? Are you finger picking that, that or is it a hybrid another, pick? Is another great that one I am hybrid picking because it's just two lines. It's very much uh, a controlled kind of thing like that, and it's. It's it's harder than it sounds, if that makes sense. Now, why are, why are you picking that instead of like playing it like a classical piece? Because that sounds like a classical piece. Yeah, uh, it actually that one actually works out to be safer for me to play with a pick and not do it with my fingers for some reason. Well, because you're also reaching over to the sitar. Yeah, and, and, and it's just it's just two lines, so I got a nice strong bass with the pick, and then the uh, the higher lines. It's actually a combination of using my fingers and the pick on it also, so it's a little. A little of both and just so happy like sometimes these things don't make a lot of sense it's just like the way I play it just comes out that way better so I just kind of do it that way and don't think too much about it and then it comes out right Andy what Hello. is what is this incessant banging you're doing I'm warming up oh I'm talking to everybody in the band about their pre-show warm-up rituals okay so what what specifically do you do here what is it that you do I... <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get loose. Loose. I have to feel like uh, I have to feel like I'm halfway through the show when we first start. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's, it's good for for a two and a half hour show. Exactly. You can't go up there cold, so it's just loosening. It's all muscles, so you just gotta loosen your muscles. Did you warm did, them up? Did anybody teach you this? No. So you you could just be. It could be total bullshit. It could be. I'm doing a. Uh, behind the scenes kind of thing because I noticed that uh, this band everybody has a pretty particular warm up ritual and uh, I just want to ask you what's yours like, what do you do like your pre-show let's see uh, first of all set up with when I set up a click <laughs> so what do you do to warm up what do I do uh, yeah. could be Bach and Could be that. Uh, the, could be. Um, could be maybe. Uh, sometimes I do a Charlie Parker head, and so on and so forth. And what are you doing with the click? Certain things in the show are like kind of baked in, so I want to make sure that I always that I have them like in my in my long term memory. Oh, it's like solidifying the tempos. It's just like I have it like running, running in the background. Now what were you doing when I interrupted you? You were doing some sort of rhythmic thing? The symmetrical inversion. So you take you take something, so something, right? So you know the um, the split points, the the mirror images are from um, A flat to D. Yeah. D, D. So if you go in white key, black key, white key, black key, no matter. As long as you start here and you go in the opposite direction, where? So the mirror image inversion of is. Right, so exactly the same finger. What does that do for you? The show is kind of right-handed, so I want to fight the asymmetry that we all have. You know, we're on right. the dominant side, so it actually makes this stronger. Really? Yeah. Another thing we do, and this is kind of for fun, but it also helps get the blend dialed in before we go on stage, is we'll do some harmony singing, so check that out. Now we're doing Rob's, which is at the very last second before we're about to go on stage. No. <laughs> yeah. no, but we're, Rob's gonna be sort of conducting our vocal warm up here.
<laughs> there you go. That's what we do to get ready for a show. I hope you liked watching this video and hopefully some of you got to see us on tour. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.